silly on a Monday morning and we've come down to Oscar Schindler's factory. We thought it was going to open at 9.30 but turns out it opens at 10 o'clock. We're going to try and get in and get uh, free tickets. Monday's free ticket day. Uh, but it's really hard to get tickets under normal circumstances because there's a huge queue of people and it's it's um, it's difficult to... It's all booked online Yeah, as you well. have to book it online. So it's post-Covid at the moment. There's no, no foreign tourists in town. So hopefully we can get in. We're the first ones in today. There's, we've got masks on and we've got gloves on and we can go inside, which is excellent. And there's nobody else, so no trouble getting tickets. This is the ticket window. And we came here in March, or was it February, to see if we could get in. It was absolutely heaving, so. Can hmm. we go this way? Got a map here of Krakow in uh, eight, 1918, 1919, 1919. Yeah, and we're just looking. We can find out where we were staying because that building was built in 1896. And there's the railway line coming into the city. This is all a big uh, urban area now, and the railway line comes up there. And this one is our building there, where we're staying. Blitz six. Our apartment is actually right there. Incredible. 1919. Wow. Crackle has changed a lot. Yes and no, but the centre, Rhinex. Very much the same. Still the same. Yeah, you've got the clock hole here and the St Mary's Church here. It's beautiful. There's a planty that runs around it. Such a gorgeous city.
of choices as a last room. After that, we come out. So just come out of the museum at Schindler's Factory, and it was pretty impressive. We just spent three hours in there, and it's a real good display on what Krakow was like under Nazi occupation. So we thought it would all be about the factory, but it's all about uh, what happened during that period, during Nazi occupation. Excellent displays, really worth coming to. If there's one museum you should visit in Krakow, beep. <laughs> uh, it's this one, I'd say. Another important Krakow Museum is the Eagle Pharmacy, which is also open and free on a Monday. So, a good one to come to on a Monday if you're going to come to Schindler's Factory. It's just around the corner uh, by the square. Plast so, this pharmacy was owned and run by Tadeusz Pankiewicz, uh, who was quite a saint really because he helped a lot of the Jewish people in the ghetto that, um, where this is stationed. Um, to give them free medicine and help them with their health and well-being. The pharmacy was actually destroyed, or the inside of it was destroyed in the 1960s. This is a recreation, but it's very interesting to come and visit. It's a very interactive museum, the reasons why we have to wear gloves. You can open the drawers and cupboards and this one's on religion. Read the stories and articles in there. Today is Tuesday and Tuesday is free museum day for the Rhineck Underground. So if you're ever in Krakow on a Tuesday, this is your day to go. It normally costs 24 zloty to get in, but apparently it's worth it. The entrance is over there. It's underneath the, uh, the main square, the Rhineck Gwovny of Krakow, and which is where medieval Krakow used to be. So it's displaying um, the history of Krakow in the medieval times. It's supposed to be pretty impressive. They've done a lot of interactive displays, so it's going to be worth a look. So this is the entrance, and because... Oh, look at that, fantastic. It's open. Now, because um, of the restrictions, etc., it's gloves and, and sanitizer. sanitizer. I think we're the first visitors today, so they're just getting organised.
around the 13th century. So we just spent two hours and 45 minutes down there because it's fascinating all the exhibits. Uh, you're not supposed to video in there, we were told not to, so a couple of sneaky ones, but there's some stills there as well. So it's incredible to think that this is the entrance behind me and we've just walked underneath the cloth hall and the market square all around us. Uh, there's the St Mary's Cathedral behind me and the pyramid thing there, we were underneath that. And there's like 13th century roads down there and um, stalls from dating back 700, 800 years. It's absolutely incredible. It's really interesting, rich heritage of Krakow. So continuing my post-COVID-19 binge of Krakow museums, today I've come to see Hippolyte House behind me. It is free on a Wednesday, so that's fantastic. And there's still not many tourists around, so I'll have the, virtually the place to myself. So Hippolyte House is an example of a bourgeois house, one of the traders' houses, and it's full of um, decorations from the 17th, 18th and 19th century. It shows how people used to live there, and it's a great example of what these beautiful houses are that line the Rynek Gwovny in central Krakow, and it's just across the road from St Mary's Cathedral. I've just been given a free ticket from the ticket office and I've been told I've got to wear gloves and my mask to go inside. It normally costs 12 to get in, which is pretty reasonable, 12 swatty, uh, but today it's free, so here I go, let's have a look. Unfortunately, that's it for the house. Interesting view into life in the 18th and 19th century track of merchants' life. So a little bit west of the centre of Krakow and we come to the main building of the National Museum. It's free on a Sunday, we're going to check it out. I wondered why so many people were sitting outside and it turns out we've arrived at 12.25 and there's a technical break between 12 and 12.30. Quite an impressive foyer. So it turns out these are executioner's swords. Unfortunately, because of COVID, the touch of the history stands are currently closed. So we've gone up to the first floor and we're going to the Gallery of Decorative Arts. These are ceramics from Polish factories.
Let me look at this. I forgot the name, I was going to say Palanquin. Dee said Devanshire. <laughs> strange thing I've noticed about this chess set is the Queen's got a beard it's all male and on the other side are the Ottomans and they've all got beards too oh there's a bear the bear got a beard <laughs> <laughs> so on the other side in lieu of the bear and the lion we've got camels so it's an incredibly fast museum visit for us because so much of it is still blocked off. So now we're going to go and chill in the park for a bit. Lee, in summary, what did you think of the museum? To be honest, a bit ordinary, I suppose. There was two sections. There was like the military um, collection and then there was the, what was it, old collectibles? or No, I think it was like, de like decorative arts. Decorative arts, yeah. So not really my cup of tea to be honest interesting for a little wander around but you could probably skip it if you're only in Krakow for a weekend I'd say but if you're here for a while and you've got nothing to do on a Sunday pop in and just behind Lee I'm not too sure if you can see is a time capsule so that could be something interesting to check out time capsule Where's the time capsule that's what the golden thing is it's a time capsule oh I didn't know that <laughs> you <laughs> sat right by <laughs> watching these things, they're so informative aren't they? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> it's a solar powered time capsule as well. Look at that panel, just Look sitting the there. The panel just sitting there. Amazing. <laughs>